Hi boys and girls and welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about video and in this particular video we're going to talk about the equipment that I use for run and gun interviews what I'm doing at the NAM show which I go to once a year with a producer and we go from booth to booth to interview various different people about their products and sometimes come across celebrities So the first thing you're going to need for you doing your interviews is a video camera. Now you can use a video camera of your choice. I'm a Canon shooter so I'm going to use a Canon. And this one I've got here is a 60D and uh, it has a 19 to a 28 millimeter lens on it, a wide angle lens. Which means I can just zoom in on just the interview of the two people or I can zoom out to get more people if, if necessary. Now I can also do other things such as shoot product and other stuff at the booth with the same lens so I don't need to carry a bunch of different lenses with me however it's always best to carry two lenses just as one as a safety now you might be asking what have I got on the bottom of this camera well what I've got is I've got a ceremonic preamp and this is what we call in the business stage gaining because the amplifiers for the sound in a camera are not that really great and if you try to push them up a little bit too hard they get a little bit of distortion so my recommendation is to get a preamp which is called stage gaining and as you can see there's all these different buttons on the back that gives me mono stereo and and I can do uh, other various different things with um, phantom power and stuff like that plus I can control the volume and I've got a little monitor on here which is kind of cool and what I do is I plug all my uh, mics into this stuff it preamps it gives me a nice clear sound before it actually goes into the camera uh, there's also a headphone jack so I can monitor the sound as well which really makes it good for me now I have upgraded to a uh, 80D um, which is the one that's filming us right now uh, but this one here is pretty reliable and can get the job done the only difference is is it's not self-focusing so I have to pull focus myself once it's in video whereas my other camera that is recording us right now actually focuses in so I can concentrate on other things and not work too much worry about focus so that's what I recommend uh, not necessarily recommending ceremonic, but I use ceremonic, so maybe maybe you might want to do something that I've already used, tested, and tried. And there you have it. So that's that's the video, and I've got a quick release that goes onto my monopod, and I'm good to go. Now the other thing that I highly recommend is a monopod. This is a monopod right here. Now, why do I recommend a monopod? Well, first off, number one is I think that all those people running around with gimbals have spent way too much money and they're not chasing people down. They're actually standing there trying to do a video of somebody, you know, an interview or maybe just a few moves on some of the things that are going on. So the gimbal for me is like overkill. Um, also, it costs a lot more, more money and it seems rather ridiculous when you really need Need things that are capable to do the job correctly so that's why I use a monopod now if I was to use a regular um, tripod I would have all those legs sticking out which would get in the way when people want to walk by plus it also be very heavy whereas this is very very light as you can see it's aluminum this one's made from, uh, by Bogan which is really good and the beauty is is that I can move forwards with this like this and I can move side to side so if I do want to get some movement it's really great but I think is the fact that it just folds up really nice and neat I can put it over my shoulder and go to my next interview and load the camera on the top which I've got a quick release as you can see right here goes on and bolts on the camera just like this so now I have a complete setup which is ideal and as you can see in this picture of me here I've got my whole rig all set up now that's another point I was going to mention too is that you sometimes you really need to look the part and as you can see in this picture of me here I'm dressed all in black now the reason professional photographers wear black is so that they can disappear and also they look very professional they look together and the other thing is is they don't cause reflections in things that they're photographing or they're taking video of that's why we wear black now if you're not going to wear black and you're just going to wear whatever you want that's entirely up to you but in my opinion you look like a yahoo or a weekend warrior and you really should be dressed as a professional and then you'll be treated like a professional but that's just my opinion now the other thing that i use is i use a monitor and i have it here on a magic arm which goes on to the monopod and I'll just put that on there so that you can see what's going on. Now, I've got it all rigged on, as you can see. 
here it is here, my monitor. And the great thing about this is that I don't have to look through the little tiny hole or glance at the little tiny screen. I can actually just glance down and look at my monitor, which is fairly large and uh, enables me to actually see what's going on in front of me. Let me just turn this around here. As you can see, it's a pretty decent size. So I can glance down and look at that and see what's really going on, not having to look through that thing over there. Uh, it gives me a great control over what I'm filming and um, I'm able to stand back a little bit and view. This is the important part, the tip, is not only can I glance down and look and see what I'm filming, I can also glance around me to see what's in front of me or my peripheral vision in case someone's trying to come into my uh, area where I'm trying to film and I can just block that person real quickly. So, but if I was looking like this or, or concentrating on a little tiny screen, I wouldn't see these people over here. So it's always nice to have that. So that's my, my tip. My tip is make sure you can see your whole scene when you're filming it and that's why I have a monitor. And it just plugs in with an HD into the camera. So that's the hot tip right there is camera on a monopod, preamped, stage gained so that the sound is nice and clear and a little external monitor off to the side makes a nice little package and you can carry it around from one spot to another and the beauty is is that it's easy to pack down put into your bag or just carry it as it is and go to your next interview with your next subjects all right there you have it now if you like that story you might want to pop over to my blog andrefelixphoto.com and check out some of my interesting uh, tips and tricks on there on how i do some of my photography i've also got a lot of great images on there that might help to inspire to go out and create some of your own you can also go over to my commercial website andrefelix.com and check out my stuff on there. Uh, I am also a web developer so I have some stuff about web development on there as well. So it's all pretty interesting. Now you can follow me on Instagram and if you have subscribed thank you very much. If you haven't please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think and all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Mm -hmm.